I'll do DaVinci Resolve. You might have seen it on the menu. I've got a special installer script to do this because there is a thing called the AUR, which is brilliant, which is a software repository or shop um, where you can pull stuff down. So I've wrote a script to allow you to just download the latest version of DaVinci Resolve, put it into the downloads folder. You run my script and it will install it using the stuff of the AUR. I think the AUR, there's a commands and stuff. I'm just trying to make it really easy for people to use DaVinci Resolve. And when you use DaVinci Resolve, you'll sort of like understand how powerful um, Linux based operating systems are, especially ones like Manjaro, because they're so optimized and they're so quick. So what else have we got in here? Development, education, games, graphics. What else have I shown you? Steam, uh, multimedia, DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, while that's while that's trundling away in the background, I will fire up Resolve for you. So there we go. Let's just bring it up. And then I've done it. The installer puts it here because it gave me loads of problems with putting a desktop icon on. I may get a memory error here if that alarm is thing still going in the background. Hopefully not. What have we got here? I've got some footage already lined up. Yeah, I've got a bit of footage in the timeline. Now, one of the key things when you first get this, it may come in in minuscule, um, minuscule uh, text fonts. So just go to preferences, go to user. Uh, you need, may need to scale the UI. It seems to have done it okay in here. Um, but basically, yeah. So, I mean, editing wise, I mean, I've just got some, somebody else's material here. I mean, look at it. It's perfect, quick. And something that did surprise me, I'm going to render this. So this is red material. Now we've only been allowed to use ProRes in Linux, like in the proper software. The, the big version of DaVinci Resolve had the huge Fairlight panel, the big uh, wheels panel, and you that would be used. If you had a Linux version, you could use ProRes encoding. Now they've given it to us in this. So if you're doing content stuff, I mean, you've got DaVinci Resolve, you've got Caden Live, but I mean, DaVinci Resolve is the way to go. You can do ProRes only now, which means you can actually deliver professional work out of it. So I'm just going to do test, and I'm going to make sure how big is my timeline. I'm going to check the timeline. 